Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of change management, today we have part 2. And if you have not watched part 1, which is the basics of change management, please watch it and then come back to this video. Today we are discussing the standard change. In this, we discuss the complete demonstration, the meaning, as well as how to configure or how to set up a standard change. This is a very, very important video with respect to change management. So let's get started. First of all, let's discuss a recap of what is standard change. So you see here, a standard change is a change which is pre-approved, low risk and relatively common and follow a specified procedure or work instruction. So it means that this is a change which is happening on day to day basis in any particular organization. For example, you got a requirement with respect to creating a new catalog item. In this, there should be no objection from anyone. So that's why this is a low risk. It should be pre-approved and it considered as a standard change. If you see here, this is the progression of normal and come here for standard change. After new, we directly go to schedule. We are skipping the two parts that is assessment and authorization. Okay. And then schedule, then we have to implement it, review it, and then finally close it. So we are skipping these two parts or these two states because this is a low risk. This is a pre-approved, okay? So that's why standard chains are very common and we follow such kind of workflow. So now let's go to the instance and see an example of this particular standard change. So how to create a standard change? We have to create a standard change by two ways. We can go to change management application or we can go to service catalog directly. Let me show you both of the ways. Click on service catalog. Here you can see the category standard change. Click on it. Here you have the options to create a standard change. You see network standard changes. It means you want to do certain changes in the network and these are standard. It means the task, the procedure, the implementation plan, the backout plan, all things are pre-decided, pre-approved and low risk. So you see, if I click on this one, that is add new network switch to the data center cabinet. It is a very straightforward task, right? And if uh, you work in a network environment, you know this is a very common thing which is happening on day-to-day -day basis or maybe weekly or monthly basis. So if I click here, you see an standard change is created here. Okay, all the values are pre-filled. It means that this particular change is created with the help of template, right? Now let me go to the change application. This is a change application, click on create new. Here under this, if you come here in the models, you see emergency and normal change, but not standard change. What are models? We will discuss after we discuss each and every type of change and come to this pre-approved thing here. You will find all such options which we saw in the service catalog that is add a network switch, reboot a window server, decommission local hardware, replace a printer toner. So all these are basic standard things. So what you have to do, you have to just click on this and automatically the change will be created. Okay, so this is the two ways we create a change. So now let's process this change. If you just recall the workflow or state transitions, you see after new, we have to go to schedule. So you see only those options here. Either you can schedule it or cancel it. Okay. So now click on schedule. Before that, you have to provide the assignment group because who will work on that? You have to provide before scheduling it. So as this is related to network, select the network assignment group and select the user from the network assignment group. Okay all the values like implementation plan backup plan test plan is ready as a part of a template come to schedule here provide the start date let's say i want to start it by tomorrow and complete it by friday so this is the implementation window now click on schedule so now you can see the change is scheduled okay the state is scheduled before going forward, let's discuss conflict as well. So what is conflict? So conflict is nothing but 
in the same time frame if there is some other change also which is going into the production it will provide a conflict so if you come here go to the conflict tab you see configuration item plant start date and date are required to run the conflict detection though we already have provided the end date and start date but because we do not have a configuration item here this particular button is not available in case of other changes like normal or emergency we may have this particular button enabled okay so when we discuss that i will show you how to enable this button but because this change is low risk that's why uh, it is not that much needed to find out the conflict because our changes are very small and it will not impact any other so now we click on implement so now the change is in the implementation state okay it is not yet implemented completely because if you scroll to the bottom that is two change task the very first one is 33 which is doing implementation it means it is asking us to implement the change and then after the implementation is complete 34 is directing us to do one more testing that is post implementation testing if you have seen change management in other releases you must have noticed show workflow right under the related links but here you are seeing show flow because things are changed in vancouver or maybe in the latest releases of service now they are not using workflows anymore okay they are using flows in order to create the tasks okay so that's why we are seeing this particular option show flow here so now let's come to these two tasks how these two tasks are coming these two tasks are coming by flows there must be some flow in the flow designer which is triggering this task based on any of the condition with respect to standard change let me go and find out that particular flow let's go to flow designer click on it find something related to change you see various flows are available scroll down you see here this is change standard implement so open it so click on the trigger let's see when this particular change triggers so this particular change is triggered whenever there is any update or creation in the change request and the model is standard as well as the state is implement so it is satisfying our condition you see here the model is standard and state is implement and that's why you see let's go here at the bottom you see do these parallel things and in this come to this seven or eight step where you see change implementation tasks so what is change implementation task this is nothing but another subflow that is another flow which is creating the tasks for the change management so this particular flow triggers and it will trigger this particular subflow based on other things based on based on other conditions here okay so how to use a flow that is a separate option but we understand that the flow is triggering these tasks okay so now we have to open each of these tasks and close it so now let's click on 33 how to understand flow how to create flow we already have discussed these things in details check out the same in our channel okay so now after the team has implemented that they will come here select their group select the user and provide some closure notes that it is successful implemented okay click on close tasks in the same way now we have to do the testing so click on this task after all the testing is completed it is successful the team will come here again and close this task as well okay provide some closure notes testing is complete fine okay click on close task so as soon as both of these tasks are closed we can reload this change and you see the change is now to the review state so review means the team for which the changes are done will now come and see whether the changes are okay or not that is the requester that is omenda he will come and he will verify the changes once he verify the changes he will come to the notes and uh, provide some work notes like 
I am fine with the changes okay so he confirm or by any other mean also like by mail or by call or by discussion he will confirm that I'm fine with the changes so now the team will close the change okay we have to provide the notes as well so we provided the close notes as customer tested and provided the sign off as well so now just click on close task sorry close change so now this change is closed so ladies and gentlemen this is the complete flow of a standard change so I hope you understand the meaning the procedure the nomenclature the workflow of a particular standard change so now we will come to the second part where we discuss how to configure a standard change this is the change create new so here you see from where these templates are coming so these templates are coming via a process so the process is anyone who want to make a standard change or you can say anyone who want to make a template for a standard change they has to propose it first and based on the proposal the change team the change manager okay or any other change related person will look into it and see whether this particular change proposal is fine or not based on that based on their approval they will approve it or deny it once they approve it the same change proposal will come here in this particular pre-approved things okay or it will come in the service catalog so now let's go to the change application once again come to the standard change here you see this is standard change under standard change you see open proposals click on it just remove this condition so you are seeing total eight proposals here which are in closed state it means these are already done okay so the same we are seeing here if you see add a network switch create a new catalog item clear BSC all these things are available here it means these proposals are approved ones that's why they are available in the change request models so in order to create a new proposal we just need to click on create new provide the basic details like in which category of service catalog you want to add this standard change we will want to add it into the standard change only okay provide some description update catalog item okay and if you want to add any group let's say we want to add a software group here this is for software team provide some witness justification or anything you want to have here the most important thing is this change request values so these all are the predefined values which will come whenever you create that change okay so these five short description description implementation plan backout and test plan these five are the most important values these five are the most important information for any standard change so that's why you are seeing it here but in case but in case you want to add any other field any other field value you can do so let's say you want a particular cab approval for this one okay so let's go to cab approval so cab required is yes once you save it and click on request approval this request will be sent to the appropriate team that is with respect to change manager change management team you see the approvals are already sent and finally based on their discussion that team will either approve it or reject it if they approve it you will see the same in the create new option that is under pre-approved standard change just reload this you see this one update catalog item okay and you will find the same in the service catalog as well let's go here click on service catalog go to standard change you see update catalog item click on it it will create a standard change so this is the complete setup of a standard change based on service now out of box iti request in your organization things may be different not much but you can see a slight change in the workflow of any particular change like standard change normal change or emergency change but today we discuss the basic the most used ITIL based uh, out-of-box service now change management for standard change 
I hope you understand it. Let me know if you have any question. We will continue the series with normal change, then with the emergency change, and then we will discuss change models. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.